And I also believe that whosoever is found uh, one thing, you know, will be dealt with appropriately. I mean, it happens even in the best militaries, you know. I but mean, but it's peopled heavily. This, this particular board, uh, sorry to interrupt you, uh, sir. This particular board is peopled heavily at the top by former military generals and military personnel. How unbiased do you think this board will be? Mokwe, I just told you, uh, if, I don't know if you were listening, I just said it a while ago, that the membership of this board cuts across. You have members of the military, both serving and retired. You have human rights activists as members, I understand. And then you have members of the bar and the bench. I mean, you have, uh, and people, you know, I mean, when I mean cutting across the board, in, in terms of, uh, you know, their, their vocation, and also in terms of uh, their geographical uh, or ethnical background. That's what I mean. And I think uh, 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 that should give some credibility, you know, to the, uh, to the, um, to, to the purpose. And then uh, looking forward to um, an objective uh, uh, result. And like I said, with... But I did say people heavily at the top. So, for instance, we have that it's going to be headed by Ahmed Jibrin, who's a retired major general. You have two brigade, retired brigadier generals there. You also have the, uh, another brigadier general, uh, who is O.L. Olayinka. You also have colonels. And the lieutenant colonel is going to be serving as the secretary. So, I mean, at the top, you seem to have a very heavy... Uh, representation of either military or former military personnel and then maybe you have other would we say token representation of the NBA and civil society organizations how unbiased I mean how heavily don't you think this would tilt heavily in favor of the military at the end of the day well um, I, I, I beg to disagree with uh, your position uh, because it's all the members, you know, they have equal um, or uh, equal rights on the board. They they have the right to speak out, and I'm sure. I mean, you know, a human rights act activist, no matter how much he is in the minority, he will still speak out. You know, so. Uh, I, I think uh, we should just keep an open mind, you know. We should keep an open mind and um, look forward to results. Because, like I said, part of the terms of reference is for them to visit all the trouble spots, all the places where there has been alleged, you know, human rights uh, violation, you know, all the units. And, of course, if the military is setting up a board, who do you expect you know what presence it 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 has to be uh, uh, um, it, it has to be uh, uh, heavy with um, uh, a, a lot of uh, military personnel. You know, so and you know at the end of the day, uh, what do you think that this board can do in terms of the process to perhaps make people accept the findings? Because you have a lot of members of IPOB. Uh, uh, families of those who were caught up in the Boko Haram fight who have different cases of abuses. So if they do come up, what do you think, how do you think they should approach all of these hearings to demonstrate transparency? Well, I'm not a member of the board and I wasn't, you know, um, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't get the full uh, terms of reference, but I do believe that um, they will, you know, invite these people, you know, as much as possible, go down, visit them, and listen to them, take notes, you know. And again, talking about uh, um, military and civil relationship, as we speak, Across the board, in all military formations, even right up to the defense headquarters, they have chief of uh, civil military uh, uh, relations at the army headquarters. And I want to believe at the 
or the services to, you know. I mean, and all these are geared towards having, you know, a, 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 a peaceful coexistence with the civil populace. And of course, you, you, you also, um, if you've been uh, following up activities or events, especially in the Northeast, you find the, um, the Air Force going there to do what you call CRS, you know, I mean, right. taking care of uh, people, and even the Army too, let, let, let's, providing uh, food, providing uh, training, okay, providing that, teachers. Let's wind down with this, because, I mean, uh, you did say that they have this human rights desk in different formations. People are expected they can walk in, but you know, if you ask how many people can actually think they can walk in, they don't know, and they won't even dare walk uh, in. Yeah. But the military has been trying to improve military-civil relations for a while. Mm -hmm. But then we still see some members, even though, yes, that, that usually happens on the streets, how they conduct themselves. Mm. But we have also seen some from the NDA, we saw clips, how they were manhandling members of the populace. Mm. So one then wonders, is it in the DNA? Because if at the NDA level, that is not instilled, isn't it going to be a lot more difficult when they've graduated? Yeah, I remember what you're talking about where, um, where a passerby was mm -hmm. alleged to have made certain comments uh, about a female yeah. um, cadet and then um, they got him and started... Uh, I, 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 want, I, want to, I want to tell you here that um, those cadets, you know, they were sanctioned. They were sanctioned. Did they publicize it? People don't know. People need to know this kind of things, that these kind of cases can be dealt with, and that is not allowed in the army. So if people don't know, they assume that that's the way the army flows. Well, I want to believe that, um, you know, even as I'm speaking with you, this is part of the education. I mean, it's good for the public to know. <clears throat> if your right is violated, regardless oh. of the person so, so be, be, be he an officer yeah. or a soldier you have a right to follow up and make a report so would you I then, have personally would, would, would you then agree that perhaps the rules of engagement of the army needs to be rejigged is, is it okay the way it is right now the rules of engagement how, how rejigged in what sense Rejected in what sense? Because uh, time and again it has come up uh, that uh, the way and manner the army goes about carrying out its operations uh, leaves much to be desired. People are hurt more often times than not. Jimba, let me tell you something. You see, sometimes people overreact. People overreact. And that is why, again, as members of the society, society, you know, as citizens, I mean, you need to have some respect even for the uniform man. I am not saying that you should start crawling on the ground because the man is in uniform, but at the same time, there's need to respect, you know, our uniformed men. That's a fine place to anchor. Retired mm -hmm. Colonel Yomi Dari is the former director of Army Legal Services. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you very much, Chamberlain. We'll be back in a moment, everyone. Don't go away.